CataractCoach.com. UK Registrar Case Number 300. Great progress for 300 cases. And let's give some helpful suggestions for more improvement here. So as you know, a registrar is what a resident is in the U.S. or other parts of the world. And so it's a young doctor in training. And this is about case number 300, cataract case 300. Nice looking incision there. I like that. Nick in the limbo vessels. Tougher to do with the eye uh, full of just aqueous, but beautifully done there. Lidocaine going inside the eye probably. Here comes some viscoelastic. Very nicely done. Yes, the video sped up. Don't worry about that. Let's look at the details here. Now, poking in with the forceps. See, that's a good technique. At, for most routine cases, you just don't need assist at home. You can use the forceps, as I do, as you do, as this young doctor is doing. Beautiful. Nice pivot technique here. That's a beautiful looking rexus. For 300 cases, I love it. Fantastic. Let's see some hydro dissection here. It looks like a flattened cannula. Get some good hydro dissection all around. Hey, by the way, do you know we have a full Cataract Coach curriculum series? You got to leave YouTube for a moment. Go to the website, cataractcoach.com. Download the free PDF book, too. A lot of good stuff for young doctors here. Now, let's get back to the case. So hydro dissection has been done. Let's see what we're going to do for nuclear fractus. Okay, here's the FACO tip going inside the eye. And let's see here. Bevel up. And, okay, a groove down the middle. Now, look at that groove. Nicely done. Look how the Purkinje image stays in the center of the eye as the groove is being made. Now, compare that to yesterday's video where someone else did case number 30, and that wasn't the case. So now let's see, splitting it down the middle. Okay, we're going to do a stop and chop probably. Nicely split. And now are we going to do another groove? A chop, beautiful. It's a little bit of a combo chop there. So nicely chopping that one hemi-nucleus into two quadrants. Very efficient. And rotating it again. And then buzzing in and chopping it again. Beautifully done. So a very nice stop and chop technique. So stop and chop is fantastic. You're about case 300, which is great. Keep doing stop and chop. And then start to learn FACO chop, horizontal chop, vertical chop, the rest. You really do have the skill set here to learn that. By the way, nice draping, eye staying in primary. Pretty good. Let's see, for cortex removal, probably going to be coaxial. Yeah, because there's only one para. So here's the coaxial IA probe, taking out the cortex there. Nicely done, taking it off in big sheets. I know you're saying the video looks so fast, but you know my audience. You know yourself. If I show you this video in real time, 12 or 13 minutes long, you won't watch it. You want to see it in just four or five minutes, right? So taking out the cortex. So you can use that button on YouTube. You can actually slow this down. You can change the speed to half normal speed. And then you can watch it and you'll see again. And you'll be slowed down here. So there's slightly enlarging the incision here. Let's see what we're going to do for the IOL. Here comes the lens, and it looks like single piece acrylic lens of some design. Get that in the capsule bag. Beautifully done here. So obviously you've got great hands. Well, what are my suggestions for you? I think my big suggestion is okay for you to move toward just fake or chop. Either horizontal chop, or quick chop, vertical chop, combo chop, some kind of chop. I think you can definitely move to a chop technique here. Your stop and chop, what you did here, is very nicely done. So no issues there. And I think you're doing beautifully. So let's see what's going to finish up the case here, sealing up those incisions. Nicely done. What advice do you have for this young doctor? Oh, I would not leave those little chunks in there. Let's get that eye pro back in one more time. Yeah, get all those cleared out. I like to clear out the air bubbles too, although that's not as important. And now let's seal this incision up. And maybe it's time for you to start looking at the refractive outcomes for these patients. Where was the steep incision for the astigmatism, the corneal steep incision? Did you make your phaco incision on that axis? Where do you need to place an LRI? You got to learn how to do the LRI. So you got to learn the refractive part of the surgery now too. But listen, K300, you're doing a beautiful job. Time for you to step up that game to phaco chop. I know you can do it. And guess where you can find good teaching videos about that? Yeah, cataractcoach.com. And you know we've got a whole curriculum series. You can learn how to do fake chop. You'll find it all right there. And check out our weekly podcast. You will love it. I promise.